everyone so here is a question on square and square root and the question is find the least number which must be subtracted from 2509 to make it perfect square right this means this number 2509 is not a perfect square we need to subtract a number from this to make it perfect square so such kind of problems can be done by long division method so let's see how we can solve it so we'll take this number inside the division so this is not a normal division what we do this is a long division method which is used to find out a square root of a given number so I'll write the number 2509 now in this method the very first step is start pairing up from the right hand side so 0 9 will form a 1 pair and 25 will form a another pair right now how to find out the divisor then so if we have to look for the perfect square number which is closer to 25 that is it can be equal to 25 or less less than that not more than but we know that 5 square is a 25 which is a perfect square yes so we'll write down 5 into 5 is 25 so subtract it we'll get the remainder 0 now drop this the entire number that entire pair we're gonna drop not a single number now again to solve this number 9 we need one more divisor how to find out so whatever you have in a quotient so here I have a 5 you should take a double of 5 double or a twice of 5 so we know that 5 twos are is 10 so I'll write down here 10 now this is a very important step so 10 is not my divisor I have to find out one more digit here or that will gonna come in the unit place or then ones place and this number in the unit place should be equal to the number in the quotient also the new quotient what we're gonna get here so this new quotient and the number in the unit place has to be equal for example here we got uh, suppose one I'll take right I need to multiply with one again 101 multiplied by 1 I cannot take a 101 multiplied by 5 something like that because this 5 is a question and 1 will be gonna come in the ones place they both are different which is not like we cannot take it so they has to be same so 101 multiplied by 1 is 101 but this is quite a huge number we have a 9 here in the uh, this step so we should take less than that so in that case we'll go with 0 so was one zero zero multiplied by zero is again a zero itself which is less than nine so we'll take here zero i'll just erase this part so we'll get here 10 and i'll take a zero and i'll put zero here in the quotient also so 100 zero to zero is zero subtract it we'll get the remainder nine now see i'm getting this remainder nine you know that or you have you might have learned that in long division method if the given number is perfect square you get the remainder 0 but since I'm getting a remainder 9 which means if I subtract this remainder from the question itself then or from the number itself in that case this number will become perfect square right yes I want to remove this 9 from the given number so uh, if they are asking you what will be the least number that has to be subtracted that is nothing but whatever remainder you are getting it so just simply subtract the remainder from the given number so from here we can write down so 2 5 0 9 minus 9 will gonna give you 2 5 0 0 yes so 2500 you know it's a perfect square and uh, how to find out the square root of it so square root of 2500 zero, zero is nothing but whatever you got in the question that is nothing but 50 you got 50 in the question right so it will be 50 so in case you're asking you what is the least number to be subtracted so that is nothing but the remainder what you're getting subtracted from the original number given in the question so from here we can conclude therefore 9 is the least number to be subtracted so 
that's it i hope it's clear in case you got in doubt or question you can leave a comment below thank you so much for watching